Nikola Tesla's the wise quotes and sayings that will inspire you. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the world. If you want to find the secrets to the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with this great power. Because of our feelings and thoughts, the flower scent will be more beautiful or will wilt. The truth that we can heal, we must learn again. Medicine is in our hearts and also in the heart of the animal that we call the universe. I feel convinced that my preservation was not altogether accidental, but was indeed the work of divine power. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. My method is different. I do not rush into actual work. When I get a new idea, I start at once building it up in my imagination and make improvements and operate the device in my mind. When I have gone so far as to embody everything in my invention, every possible improvement I can think of, and when I see no fault anywhere, I put into concrete form and final product of my brain. All people everywhere should have free energy sources electric power everywhere present in unlimited quantities and can drive the world's machinery without the need for coal, oil, or gas. No free energy device will ever reach the market. We are all one. Only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us. We begin to think cosmically. Though free to think and act, we are held together like the stars in the firmament with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. What has the future in store for this strange being, born of breath, of perishable tissue, yet immortal, with the powers fearful and divine? To know each other, we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Three possible solutions of the great problem of increasing human energy are answered by the three words, food, peace, and work. There is no reality except the one contained within us. That's why so many people live an unreal life. They take images outside them for reality and never allow the world within to assert itself. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. I am trying to awake the energy contained in the air. These are the main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space is just a manifestation of matter that is not awakened. If the genius of invention were to reveal tomorrow the secret of immortality, of eternal beauty and youth for which all humanity is aching, the same inexorable agents which prevent a mass from changing suddenly, its velocity would likewise resist the force of the new knowledge until time gradually modifies human thought. Every living being is an engine geared to the will work of the universe, though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding. The sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. We build but to tear down. Most of our work and resource is squandered. Our onward march is marked by devastation. Everywhere there is an appalling loss of time, effort, and life. A cheerless view, but true. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. The feeling is constantly growing on me that I had been the first to hear the greeting of one planet to another. With ideas, it is like with dizzy heights you climb. At first, they cause you discomfort, 
and you are anxious to get down, distrustful of your own power. But soon the remoteness of the turmoil of life and the inspiring influence of the altitude calm your blood. Your step gets firm and sure and you begin to look for dizzier heights. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. Practical success of the idea, regardless of its inherent advantages, depends on the altitude of people. If it suits the time, it is accepted. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. When wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain, which in fact is all things being particles of real and rhythmic whole. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, irrespective of distance. Not only this, but through television and telephony, we shall see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles. And the instrument through which we shall be able to do this will be amazingly simple compared with our present telephone. A man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. I truly hope that these quotes by Nikola Tesla open your eyes, your minds, and your hearts for a shift towards a better future. He was so far advanced in his time and even in ours, and he used his gift of imagination to envision his ideas. With my background as an electrician, Tesla's wise quotes and sayings truly are my favorite, and I hope they will inspire you. His ideas have revolutionized our future in so many ways. He invented the Tesla coils which harnessed the power from Mother Earth and the ethers of the universe which could be distributed around the world. His vision was for free energy to power cities, cars, airplanes, and communication. But this scared those who were bound by greed and power and his reputation was tarnished. There is so much more to our existence. It's time for people to wake up and find their own ideas and embrace their true inner wisdom.